technology and livelihood education, food processing, exploratory course for grade 7 and 8, module 3, based on most essential learning competencies. Our topic is review various formulations. Historically, many different systems of units have been used. A system unit is defined as a collection of units of measurement with rules that relate to each other. A unit of measurement also is defined magnitude of a quantity that is used as a standard for measurement for the same kind of quantity such as measurements of length, weight, and volume. Conversion of units is the conversion between the different units, unit of measurement for the same quantity, typically through multiplicative conversion factors. A conversion factor is used to change the unit of measured quantity without changing its value. Before we proceed to our lesson, what do you think are the tools needed to measure the following ingredients? 1 4 teaspoon of salt, 2 cups of sugar, 1 4 cup of milk, 200 ml of water, 2 kilos of fish, and 1 liter of vinegar. Measurements and Conversions it is important to weigh or measure all ingredients accurately, especially for beginners. There are cooks and chefs who seem to be able to produce good results by guesswork and intuition because of their long experience in cooking. However, that should not be the case. What generally matters is using precise measurement. When weighing things, it is essential to buy a good brand of weighing scale that could be used for a long time and a good selection of measuring cups and spoons that are very handy. Measuring tools You can buy a set of measuring cups in different sizes, measuring spoon in different sizes, and you should buy a clear measuring cup which is necessary to get a precise liquid measurement. Measuring dry ingredients The most important thing to know about measuring dry ingredients is that they should be leveled with the top of your measuring cup using spatula. Fill your cup to overflowing and level it up by sweeping the edge of a knife across the top. Spoon flour and similar ingredients into measuring cups do not scoop the ingredients using the cup itself because this packs the cup too much and the measurement won't be precise. Be careful if you are using a cup larger than what it is needed, as in a one cup measure to get one and a half cup worth of ingredients. The same leveling technique should be used with measuring spoons. Tips Measure dry ingredients over a plate or bowl so you can catch the excess and put it back. The following are the volume measurement conversions in cups, tablespoons, teaspoons, and milliliters. A time to remember. D. 
This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.